What's up guys? Shane Light with Tide Barbecue coming to you this evening. Wanted to go through tri-tip. So we're gonna do a little tri-tip video. This is a super flavorful cut, very easy to do. I do this a lot during the week. Uh, you can do this on the grill, on the pit, in the oven if you have to, it's really easy. It's real popular in California, some of those other parts of the country. Uh, you don't see as much tri-tip in Texas, but I will say the last couple of years, you started to see a little bit more. This is a tri-tip that I picked up today at my local grocery store, H-E-B. Sometimes you get lucky like this one, and it's mislabeled. So this is already trimmed up. Sometimes you get these with a big fat cap and you have to trim them out a little bit. It's a uh, sirloin, so it's got a lot of the fat striations and marbling all through it. This was labeled select, which there's no way this was select. It looks prime to me. Basically you've got on the marbling for all steaks, rather they'll have select, which is bottom of the barrel. Then you'll have a choice, which is like a mid grade, has a little better marbling that's gonna render out. You're not gonna have to do as much trimming. And then prime, which is kind of top of the line, that's also gonna have better fat that's gonna render through like a steak, give you that flavor. Then of course, Wagyu at the top end. For most grocery stores, it's gonna be select, choice or prime is typically what you're gonna see. Sometimes you get lucky on the big chain grocery stores and they'll kind of mislabel something, but it's super marbled anyway. So definitely grab those and pick it up whenever. This was only like a $13 tri-tip. They're not big, so typically they're gonna be two to four pounds, so they're not gonna take that long to cook. Let's get going on. But you wanna season this like a steak. So however you uh, normally do it, I love uh, Hardcore Carnivore Black. So I use this pretty much on every beef that I cook. You can do some score marks on the back here just to get a little more surface area so that seasoning gets in there. And as it cooks, those score marks open up a little bit, give you a little more surface area, a little more crust. And then we're gonna season that. And you wanna get all the sides. So any kind of steak seasoning that you guys like, go with. And that is, that is how you season it, you get this. I like to do it in a pan, holds everything in so you catch all the juice on these things. I like to put a little bit of my Kerrygold butter, drop that on there, and that is ready to go. So you can do that in the smoker, you can do this on the grill, you could even do it during the week, you want to just throw it in the oven and have it ready, it's done. You want to cook this like a steak. So I usually let it roll to about 130, 132 internal temp, and then pull it out, let it rest and then you can do a sear on it to get crust on there on either side on a hot grill. That is the tri-tip, guys. We're gonna throw this on the pit. As far as prep, super easy, and it's a great cut. But let's get this on the pit. All right, guys, we're here at the pit. So today we're gonna use the Pits and Spits Maverick 1250 cooker. So this is a pellet grill. It's got a 35 pound popper. I like post oak pellets, but you can mix if you wanna do fruit wood pellet for pork, mix it in. You could do all kinds of different things. But I like post oak, it burns hot, good all around choice for just about anything. So I don't have to worry about switching for different cuts of meats, what have you. For the uh, tri-tip, I like to do it in the pan. Put a little bit of butter on here. We're gonna throw this thing on, let it go. Uh, you wanna run it to about 130 internal temp, like you would a steak. And then we're gonna sear it after that. But throw it on and let it go. We'll check back here shortly, guys. But on the pits and spits, I'm running at 300 degrees on the pit temperature. Anywhere from 275 to 300, I feel like, is a pretty good temperature. You can go lower if you want to go 250 and let it go a little bit longer. You just want to watch that internal temp and don't overcook it. Put it on, set the temperature for 300, which we've got rolling. So we are good to go, and uh, we'll check back here in a little bit. Thanks guys. Hey guys, we're back here at the Pits and Spits pellet grill for the tri-tip to check on it. Been on about an hour, a little over. So we get all kinds of nice juice in the pan. Butter's melted into the tri-tip. Let's check it out. So we're temping about 112. Again, we're kind of looking for that steak temperature. So about 130, give or take, is what we want to run it to. And the uh, thermo pin is a great tool to be able to check temperature on anything. It's an instant read. Use this thing all the time. So just throw this back on the pit, let it finish out. Probably need another half hour or so, and we're good to go. All right, guys, so here we are. We smoked the tri-tip. Just a refresher. We seasoned it with Hardcore Carnivore Black, threw it on the pit at 300 degrees, and we smoked it. Turned out about an hour and a half. That's what it took to hit that 130 internal temperature. Pulled it off, let it rest, and here we are. The rest was about 30 minutes. So then when you slice the tri-tip, grain runs in two different directions. And you wanna slice medium to thin cuts. Ooh, there we go. 
So nice medium rare. Still get a little bit of the fat on there. And with the pan, you can actually put the slices back in the pan, serving and holding, and that'll put them in the juice there, which will just make them even better. So when you slice the remainder, you go about halfway up, slicing straight across, because you want to cut against the grain. And then you hit about the midway point. You want to fold it in. And then continue cutting so you're against the grain once it switches. You can let it go a little further if you like more of a medium, medium well. Well done if you want to roll it, but we don't roll that way. So back in the pan with the extra juice and you are ready to serve. That is the tri-tip guys, super easy. This is a great cut. It's not a huge roast where you're gonna have a ton of extra beef. These are about two to four pounds. It's a great thing to do for dinner for the family. Stovers, you can do sandwiches, tacos, anything you want with it, but really flavorful cut. You can trim off the extra fat cap if you want it really lean. So it's good for folks that maybe don't like a fatty brisket, but want that beef, a little more of a steak consistency. So definitely give Tri-Tip a shot, super easy, and it's a great cut. Thanks again, guys. Subscribe and like the video, and we'll be putting more of these out uh, for different proteins. Thank you. Thank you.